Hmm. Ooh, uh, we in the plus, bitch. We are, but look. Finally. But look. And I think three, okay. three of them wasn't mine, but whatever. That's, you know, that's okay. No. I got two. That's five. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be back. Here we go again. The yeah. unmuting. Uh, Will we both have two in person questions? <laughs> Did you get the rebound? Where have you been? It's been a wow, minute. Wow, so you're, you're scared of 10 rebounds. Yes, I am, apparently. Okay. Great talk. So, yes. You guys come out in the first quarter of force, eight turnovers, sold 35% shooting, and you limit 10 for a You're a few, you haven't given up this few points in a month. So mm -hmm. much an emphasis coming out back by defense today. Yeah, I think it's been our emphasis over the last week or so. Um, we're just really trying to figure out our defense in the second half. Um, I know in the first half of the season, we were number one. We kind of fell to last in the second half early, but we're getting back to it. We're the best defensive team in this league, regardless of who we have in, who we have out. Um, so we're figuring that part out. But right now with numbers down and only nine, 10 players, we got to get it done on the defensive end and allow our defense to bring our offense, which is what we focused on today. Mm -hmm. Brittany, kind of the same question for you. Just your thoughts on just coming out fast if you guys did on defense. I mean, with, all the guards that we have, I, I think we have the advantage of getting out, pushing in transition, having people who can spot up in transition, having people who can kind of break you down off the bounce and kind of touch, well, not kind of, but touch the paint and, you know, get them multiple touches. Um, I think we were doing that today and we knew that we had such a great presence inside with BG that we wanted to kind of challenge foot speed with the rest of the team. We know that she she stays back on defensive coverages. So if we can get a full head of steam, now we have them helping. Now we can get the extra pass. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving the ball. We're at our best when we have pace with the ball and we're at our best when we have pace going up and down the floor. So we we did that today and we had some mishaps, but we we kept finding it. Yay. Finally, yeah, we got it. Good, Great. how are Thank you? First of all, great talk, great game. Thank you. Just grit and energy are two words that come to my mind. Just this, this home game, this home stand, how do you, what are some of the takeaways you, what are some of the positive takeaways from this home stand to get ready for the road? I mean, for me, one positive is that uh, we're ending on a win, mm -hmm. you know, and OK, we 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 lost two at home. And Tosh said it before we started the game that we're going to get this game at home. We're going to get back on it. We have tough games on the road in Minnesota, Dallas and Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But um, to get that that little buffer underneath you, you know, going into a three game homestand, another three and five. Um, you know, so we just finished three and five. Shout out to the W. Shout out. <laughs> but we just finished the three and five and we're going into another one. But it's it's really good to have a win. So that's a good positive. Yeah. Um oh, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, let's keep it going. Yeah, let's keep it rolling. Thank you. Um obviously in this game, man, the game was one. So it has had a great opportunity great opportunity to pretty much lead. Pretty much didn't hold off on the lead. Uh, what was the difference in the game? Um, I think our focus today was the best it's been in a while. Um, our grace today for ourselves individually and collectively as a team uh, was the best it's been today. Um, and honestly, I think it was us. So many times within our huddles, it's not about them. It's about us, mm -hmm. right? So we're in these leads. We're feeling good. We're playing well on both ends of the floor. But in those moments, sometimes it's easy to get complacent. So I think all of us being locked in with like, okay, this is about ourselves getting better. This is about preparing for next week. Um, when it gets towards the end of the game, right? Of can we be efficient? Can we execute our timeout plays? Uh, can we execute guarding their offensive sets and not fouling? I think allowing and communicating those things uh, ourselves individually in our huddles really just helped us stay locked in today to be able to keep and extend those leads. Hi, Jen. Well, I just want to ask you real quick. You know, obviously, you've been playing really great basketball lately. Tosh has been playing really great basketball lately. I wanted to ask you about Tosh, who's averaging close to 20 points a game over her last three. <laughs> um, how, how has she. I love how when you ask my teammates about me. <laughs> well, I'll keep going. Her, um, kind of step up in this three games and five game stretch. Well. My fellow poppy crop, the poppy of the crop. Um, all jokes aside, it has been an honor. It has been an honor um to watch Tosh like come into her own. Um, 
we've had numerous amount of talks and earlier in the season when she felt like she was struggling offensively. Mm -hmm. um, whereas we were all just there giving her grace to figure it out. And she's now starting to get into it quickly. You know, like she always had it, but it's now finding that flow quicker and she's not giving up shots anymore and she's driving to the basket. She's she's always been a tremendous passer. Um, and I think now that we have the pieces that we do like right now, um, she's managed to figure out how to make it work for all of us, you know, because we're used to Adelia Atkins on the wing, and now we have Asai, and now we have a Lene Harper, and they are great players too because they hit shots and they do everything with, you know, with with intention. But um, I'm just really proud of her for being able in all this craziness that we got going on. She's still our leader. She still manages to like have hella energy in the morning <laughs> when we haven't even opened our eyes yet but you know that's a choice that she makes every day so it's just been really dope and I've learned a lot from her so it's been really cool Thanks, I think Poppy. I think I answered the question Thanks Pop no problem buddy oh, no, I'm gonna stay. I gotta, I gotta, You got to I got to send oh. it back I got to send it back Okay I'm sending love back to my my fellow Poppy crop Um no it's been an honor to be with Slim to um out there the two point guards right now I think we've challenged each other a lot in this last week, even coming into this week of three home games. We got in the gym, we shot together at the apartment, understanding that our roles do uh, take another level during this time. Our leadership takes another level during this time. So uh, that's what I want to talk about for Slim is her leadership who she is as a player, who she is as a scorer for us, who she is a defender. She's been that since the beginning of the season. Her leadership, though, of being in an organization that believes in her, being in a locker room that believes in her, that believes in her leadership, that believes that we go as she goes, we go as I go. So for us, it's been challenging each other. And I think that's the beautiful thing of why you see us so close as well as I'm able to get into her ass. Mm -hmm. She's able to get into my ass. And we understand that at the end of the day, we just want to push ourselves to be the best that we can be. This game isn't always promised. Tomorrow is never promised, but this is our oasis for the time being. We're very blessed to be able to do what we do. And we're blessed that God has called us to different levels of our play. And so that's what I see in Slim. I see him. He brought her here for a reason to take another level up in her career of where she already is. And I'm just really proud of how she's been able to respond, even on days like today that she might not have it. Right. She still puts in 40 minutes for us, efficient across the board, keeps her cool, doesn't lose it. And now go do what you want, Slim. But you did your shit for our team. And that's what really eat. matters. We're going to eat. Yeah, we're going to eat. That's it. OK. okay. Brittany, Brittany. Uh, Eric, Eric was saying he might have pregame that he might have to go with, with someone else at the, the circle, but you got the, you got the nod. Yeah, he always, he always asked me, like, he, he, he tests to see how hot the water is. And I was like, yeah, why not? Because at this point, it's just like a comic relief. That wasn't her response today. Was, Fuck it, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you could bleep that out. She going to go. To I the really did. I was, like, I was like, F it, why not? <laughs> I don't know if you, because I mean, it's BG. Like, that's one of my closest friends in the league. And then I don't know if you caught it. She had caught it on the baseline and it's almost like a remake of the bubble because she tells me every time we talk, like, I'm going to get your ass back <laughs> for the 2020 block in the bubble. Like, she's still trying to get me for that. <laughs> That's why when I came over, we kind of went head to head and I was like, I got you. She was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> so it's it's always good playing against your friends. And, you know, she's a, a sweet spirit. Is Anybody who thinks BG is like this mean person. Or like, you could you know, fight us. Yeah, you could fight us because we playing against her. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Any other in person questions? Yeah, we got yeah, one. one more. Uh, congrats on the win. Thank you. Know, you. It felt like early on um, the offense kind of started more on the wing. And as it progressed, you guys kind of got more towards the slot. Does that open up more space for you guys? Um, and has it affected you just not? Like, obviously, injuries are not good. Mm -hmm. But has it helped you guys like throughout this process understand where you could be more effective when those plays get? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think right now, with players being down, we're really spacing the floor. Um, and especially against a team with uh, against Phoenix where they have rim protection in uh, Griner and Turner, trying to get them to shift, trying to get them to play out on the perimeter, putting them in ball screens to take them away from being that rim help. Um, we're being very intentional about how our offense is run right now. Um, just really trying to figure it out so that 
we have everything in order. So then when we do start plugging those pieces in in the next few weeks, they're coming into an already oil oil kind of machine. Um, but space is great for us. We have so many players that can get into the paint and make reads and find open players, uh, find open shooters. So it's been really good for us, the space right now. And uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about BG, but I saw you had a moment with BG towards the end. She like, slammed her ball into the ground. Yeah. Like, I'm you know, just, oh, you're talking about when you went up yeah, to BG? Yeah, I, I said, Sutton, please foul me because... Me and Slim, I looked at Slim, I said, she blocked my shit. I said, I said, too deep, you went too deep. I ain't gonna lie to you, I turned to BG and I said, hold on, BG, that was a good block now. <laughs> too deep, I was like, oh, too deep, too, too deep. deep. But that's what we're saying, BG is such a beautiful spirit that even in the middle of a war, she still has light and love in her heart. And I think that's why we fought so hard for her to come back. We're so happy that she's back this year. Just the, this is my first game where BG's been on the floor right here in DC. So mm -hmm. even just having her back and seeing her run up and down the floor with joy, that is, that is the greatest gift that anyone could ever give to us. And I don't know she's just a beautiful soul. Um, and we're blessed to be a part of her family. Appreciate you. What you reading? I'm trying to see bench points. Oh. I don't know where Any to look for that. At. I think that's it. Thank you. That's both. I just thoughts on the defensive effort. Where do you think you guys got the most better? The most better. Uh, I thought we just dug real deep today, to be honest with you. I thought it was just a, a gut check win for us. Um, everybody that played, contributed, bought into the game plan, even when they made some plays and stuck together. You know, we kind of said empty the tank today and give your teammates a little extra when they need it. And I thought start to finish, we just played a, a really good effort at both ends of the floor. You know, looking at Tash and Slim, who are just sitting here, you know, combining for 46 points. Mm -hmm. You know, those are those are both players that other folks have doubted at times offensively. How rewarding is it for you to see them, you know, really stepping up, not just today, but but this week in uh, carrying that load offensively? Yeah, like you said, I mean, it's it's one thing when you kind of got to know your, when you know you've got to carry the load. Um, that's a different weight, and I think they've handled it pretty well. I thought that was maybe Tasha's most complete game of the season, you know, all around. Um, Slim carried us early when we were a little stuck offensively. She gave us some big buckets and I think just poised the two of them when they play together and they're, and they're both poised. It sets the tone for the whole team. Um, you know, the, you and the team have kind of talked about um, like the focus and not letting things snowball. And, and it seemed like those two in particular were, were really, you know, poised today. Um, how did you see kind of the team, like, you know, respond when Phoenix would make a run or, or something would happen? Good. That I think um, we're getting out of it faster when we're frustrated. You know, it it uh, it dead balls. You know, you're gonna have times where a player is emotional about a call that just happened, or frustrated about a play that was just made. But I hear their teammates grabbing them now, grabbing them and fixing it fast, and getting on to the next thing. And huddles is the same. People reminding each other of what the play is coming out of the huddle, or what the time or uh, defensive adjustment is. And one of the things we talked about is everybody's going to have their moments where it's difficult or their brain goes for a minute, but there's four other people on the court and a bunch more on the bench that can help get everybody back on track. So I think the last two games, it's been a concerted effort. It was definitely a ball pressure and early help game. You know, they, they do a lot of things uh, to try to set up, BG's touches. Um, they've got guards who can, you know, handle the ball and make plays if you let them be comfortable. And so we said uh, our bigs and guards had to be active participants in, in our ball pressure. It couldn't be just one or two people. So, um, you know, at home when you're a little bit desperate and you've lost a couple in a row, that's the tone we should set. And just defensively on how did you guys did pretty well. You know, she she still makes so many good plays. You know, when we we didn't get there in time or she was able to get it in the lane she scored she had five assists and probably could have had a couple more but um we were committed to trying to get it out of her hands as much as we could and scrambling around and i thought we did a good job i thought um you know saisha and tiana were the double team person a lot and they just had good instincts of when to go when to hold and our guards figured out ways to scramble and fly around so uh, like i said before the game a great player you're not gonna stop her she can make every pass and she can score when you let her. So uh, I thought we did a good job. Thanks. Uh, 
Uh, so in the first quarter, it kind of felt early on you guys were you know, still initiating from the wings, but then as the game moved on, it felt like you guys were initiating more from the slot. Just it seemed like the offense was very intentional and in getting higher and moving those um, rim protectors to kind of the paint. How do you think it went there? And then is that sort of the thing you want to see from your team right now as they come back as you're battling through the game? Partly, I think that's where Tosh and Slim are most comfortable operating is is high on the floor. Um, like you said, we have to move their length around not only BG, but, you know, Brianna Turner is such a good shot blocker if you let her play in the paint. So um, Tiana and Maisha both did a good job of not being predictable about where they ended up on the floor. Sometimes it was in the corner. Sometimes it was high. Um, and, yeah, it's I mean, it's not easy for, for guards that want to drive and get to the rim to have all that size and length in there. But I thought we did a good job being patient and picking our spots to get downhill. And um, how, does, how does Natasha help unlock? Uh, Britain Sykes. This is her fourth 20 point game. This is where she's ties for the most she's had in her career. How does she help unlock Britain's offensive story? Yeah, I think two or three runouts probably helped today, too. You know, Brittany went, uh, took off and Tosh will look for her and throw it. And I hold my breath a couple times, but we, we thread the needle. I mean, Tosh has hit her on a couple good ones. So, um, you know, that's one way. That's one way is to reward somebody when they want to run the floor like that. And, you know, it lets, it lets Slim not have to do the same thing every time down. She's going to get reps where she's handling the – is that me? She's going to uh, get reps where she's handling the ball and has to initiate, but that's a lot to ask for anybody the entire game. So for them to be able to trade off helps both of them. Yeah. Hey, hey there. Great. Uh, I hope you figured out what I have for you, Josh. Great energy was to compete in this game. Just you look at this three-game homestand, how do you prepare for – I said after the game, I said, when you when you have to dig a little deeper like we did today, um, it's a good habit. It's a good habit to build. It, it lets you know that you can do it again when you need to. Um, we were tired, obviously, you know, three and five and a quick turnaround. But when you decide that you want to win bad enough, you can play through all that stuff. So um, it's going to be a tough trip. The games come fast. But I think we go on the road, you know, having having shown some toughness the other night and a loss and responding the way we did today, that we should go into the trip with some confidence and expect to go on the road and try to win a couple games. Last one, Pete. Talk about finishing strong all four quarters. Yeah. How do you take a game like today and continue to apply that going on the road, especially against Atlanta, against Dallas, even coming back home against Los Angeles? Yeah, I think we played probably three and a half good quarters today. I know our offense went a little sideways at the end when we had a lead, but – um no choice, to be honest with you. You got to do it. If you want to win, if you want to beat good teams, uh, you can't have lapses. It's something we've been talking about all year. I'm sure every coach in the league is saying the same thing. I thought we did a good job tonight of even when they scored, or even when they beat our coverage when it was the right coverage, that we got back organized, got on offense, didn't walk it up and have a discussion about who messed up, um, just got on to the next thing and tried to fix it as we went. Yep. Oh, in the back. Thank you. I would say that I think the key takeaway is I was I was pleased with the way we responded from a, a tough emotional game the other night where I played people a lot of minutes and we picked ourselves up. We picked ourselves up yesterday, to be honest with you, came in and had good focus when we watched film and walked through a couple things and we carried it over into the game. And I think that's a sign of character when you can bounce back quickly from adversity, um, band together and decide you're going to dig in and play for the person next to you. Thank you. And you have a player now with a contract, uh, actual contract uh, size. Mm -hmm. She's coming from Hungary. Yep. And um, how, how could she contribute to the performance of the team? What is your um, opinion on that? And why did you choose her for this uh, So We chose her. Uh... One, it helps that she was just playing for the national team. So we knew she was in game shape and game rhythm. Um, I know her. I know her college coach. I worked for her college coach. So I had some familiarity with who she is as a person. And then I thought tonight um, she did a great job following the game plan. Uh, I, she didn't make a shot, but she took the right shots. And I think she we were seeing that she's a pretty smart player. 
and that she can fit into what we're trying to do and understand what we're trying to do as a team. And when somebody's on a hardship contract, them being able to adjust quickly and fitting quickly is very important. Yep. Just one more for me real quick. Um, just bigger picture, thinking about how Maisha has defended Ali Boston and now uh, it seems like she was pretty effective against PG. Um, how has she kind of like grown as a defender and in, to the point where she's able to, you know, contain these these bigger players who are all stars who, you know, could be able to shoot over her, but but aren't necessarily doing that all the time. I think for her, it starts with doing her work early, um, not letting people get good position on her, knowing she's strong and has a good base that that she can keep people off their spots. And, you know, getting better studying, you know, that, that was something we challenged her on is be a better student of the game, prepare better, watch more film. Latoya helps her a ton with that. Um, it's the maturity we like to see in a player by this point in their career. That's it, coach. Right. Thank Thanks. you.